we have captured one of the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives. Today on Timescast, after 16 years on the run, the FBI arrests James Whitey Bulger, a legendary Boston crime boss indicted in 19 murders. I can't say enough about the FBI's persistence and dedication in this effort. It's a good day for the FBI, but the case has long been an embarrassment to the agency. The FBI was essentially protecting Whitey Bulger as he murdered people, as he ordered the murder of other people. James Whitey Bulger and his partner, girlfriend Catherine Gig, were apprehended last night by the FBI in Santa Monica, California. The arrest came after the FBI changed tactics this week and stopped going directly after Mr. Bulger, but his girlfriend, Catherine Grigg. This is an announcement by the FBI. They did that by airing public service advertisements on television shows catering to women audiences that focused on Ms. Grigg and some of her characteristics. In particular, she's a dental hygienist who had an affection for plastic surgery, getting her teeth cleaned, and dogs. They also doubled the reward on her to $100,000. Uh, tips began coming in Monday night, and on Tuesday night they got what they described as a solid tip that led them to begin surveillance in the Santa Monica neighborhood where the couple lived. Mr. Bolger is wanted for a long line of offenses, among them 19 murders. He is 81 years old, and if convicted, it seems fair to say that he'll be spending the rest of his life in jail. James Whitey Bolger was caught after 16 years on the lam. You have to understand the way that this character in this narrative have gripped the city of Boston. He had always been viewed as this sort of almost kind of mythical figure in the 70s and 80s, one step, two steps ahead of the police. And then in the 90s to learn the truth about his eventual implication in 19 murders was really kind of a terrifying story. In the 70s, Whitey Bulger began working for the FBI. It was during a period where the FBI was targeting the Italian mob in Boston, and they used some of these Irish mob figures to gather information. And then it grew to the point where the FBI was essentially protecting Whitey Bulger as he murdered people, as he ordered the murder of other people. Whitey Bulger's handler at the FBI was a man named John Conley. And John Conley got in so deep with Whitey Bulger that he ended up corrupting the department. Whitey Bulger had the FBI essentially in his pocket and they eventually tipped him off when he was about to be indicted in 1995. That's when he escaped Boston and that's when this drama of him being on the lam began. I was the Metro Editor of the Boston Globe and this is the story that loomed over Boston. During that period, we would hear that he was in Vietnam, in Argentina. He was actually sighted in England. I sent people to Alaska to look for him with a bounty hunter. There was just the sense that he was out there somewhere and that we were going to find him. And of course, we didn't. And the FBI didn't for a really long time. My phone and my Blackberry were exploding this morning. People can't believe, first, that he was caught, that he was caught alive. But also, after such an epic story, for him to be found in this sort of pedestrian setting in Santa Monica, California, it seems so incongruous and sort of anticlimactic.